So what happens if I make a mistake? You just need to clear, and it'll bring you back to the right. Oh, okay. Give me all the money in the register and all the money in the safe. Now, let's go. Sir, I think it's time delayed. It won't open for another nine minutes. Fine, give me the money in the register. Sir, I can give you the money in the register, but I need to scan an ice. Scan it! Let's go! Hurry up! Open up the register! Put the money in the bag! Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. You know, he was wearing the same sweatshirt as that guy who was here yesterday. You're right. Let's move away from the counter, because he banged on him. We don't want to mess up anything that police can use. Okay. You lock the door, and I'll, I'll call the police, the DM, and the ERC. Dollar General prides itself on providing both a safe and secure workplace for our employees, as well as a safe shopping location for our customers. While it is unlikely, there may be a time when a robbery like the one you've just seen could happen in one of our stores. This training will help you understand what you should do in the rare event of a robbery and how you can actually prevent robberies just by the way you execute your daily job responsibilities. Let's review what the critical steps in this scenario were. First, remain calm. Make sure to follow the robber's demand. Pay attention to clothing height and the direction the robber goes a robbery can be a very scary time for everyone involved including the robber the most important thing to remember is safety it is very important that everyone remain calm if you experience a robbery speak calmly and clearly comply with the robber's demands keep your hands where he or she can see them do not look the robber in the eye Explain everything you are doing and let the robber know of any unexpected things that may occur, such as a delivery or the arrival of another employee. Let's review the video to see how Angela handled this. Note Angela's calm and reassuring voice. This lets the robber know that he will have no problems. Let's go! Sir, I think it's time delayed. It won't open for another nine minutes. Fine, give me the money in the register. Sir, I can give you the money in the register, but I need to scan an eye. Scan it! Let's go! She complies with what he asked. She kept her hands in plain view, did not look him in the eye, and explained that the safe is time delayed. The police will ask you to provide a description of the robber. Make mental notes of the clothing, any scars, or jewelry the robber is wearing. Note what surface or merchandise the robber touched. This information could later help to identify the robber. Remember, never touch any surface or merchandise the robber touched until after the police have completed their on-scene investigation. Utilize the color-coded robbery tape that is installed at the front entrance of your store to help you estimate the robber's height. This information is important for the police to help identify the robber. After the robber leaves the store, immediately call 911. Move away from the area where the robber was inside the store. Provide the 911 operator with the information he or she needs as requested. Call your district manager and the employee response center to report the robbery. Call many customers who were present during the robbery and offer any assistance they may need. If they must leave immediately, ask for names and contact information so that information can be provided to the police. When the police arrive, assist them with information they need. This information will help the police identify and apprehend the suspect. Many times a robber will try to find a victim who isn't paying attention or is unaware of his or her surroundings. The robber will also find a place where he or she is unlikely to get caught. When you are the first to arrive for work, before leaving your vehicle, Take the time to look for any suspicious people or activity. Have your store keys ready prior to exiting your vehicle. Have your purse, wallet, or other personal belongings close to your body. As you approach the store, continue to be aware of your surroundings. If you see someone or something that is suspicious, return to your vehicle. If not, proceed into the store and lock the door behind you. Your attention can convey a message to anyone watching that you are not an easy target for robbery. Here you see Patty demonstrating good awareness. 
Robbers may act as a customer in an attempt to get inside a store while it is closed. The robber may say he or she needs medication or that his or her car has broken down and they need to use the phone. Never allow them to enter. Remember, no one may enter a store prior to opening or after closing unless he or she is a scheduled employee. Be sure that your store is prepared for customers prior to opening by closing the office door and ensuring that all cash is secure in the safe or register. If something is suspicious, call the police. Let's watch and see how you should handle a situation in which someone asks to enter the store before opening or after closing. Let me in. I, I got a bad cough. I really need some medicine. Sir, I'm sorry. The store's closed for the day. We'll reopen in the morning at 8. Come on. I got a kid. He's got a cough, too. I need some medicine. Sir, I'm really sorry. Our system is shut down for the day. We'll reopen again tomorrow morning at 8. How can addressing customers, serving customers, cash pickups, and good recovery help prevent a robbery? You can send a message to a potential robber that your Dollar General store is not the place to commit a robbery. How a store is maintained and how our employees act can actually help prevent robberies. Do your part to keep your store clean, in stock, and recovered, and provide good customer service. This includes uh, all employees maintaining a professional and uh, clean appearance. They should be somewhere in the People who commit crimes evaluate the likelihood of getting caught. They may visit a location prior to a robbery just to see how easy it could be. Ensure that you are sending the right message each and every day. Hello, is there something I can help you with today? No. No, I'm good. Greet customers when they walk into your store and offer assistance at every opportunity. Hi, welcome to All General. Thank you. How you doing? Doing well. Patty, I need you up front, please. Be aware during cash pickups. Notify the manager immediately when you receive your register prompt. Ensure that you move through the process professionally and efficiently. Do not draw customer attention to the cash pickup process. Ensure that you immediately secure all register pulls in the store safe. The store manager should have a discussion with all employees on how to handle cash pickups. Let's look at some scenarios on how to handle these situations. Hi, welcome to Dollar General. How are you doing tonight? Hi, welcome to Dollar General. Patty, I need you up front, please. Is there anything I can help you find? No. Okay, thank you. Now let's look at backdoor security, store walk at closing, and closing procedures. Store managers are responsible for monitoring the back door. Trash should be removed from the building as quickly as possible. Always remove trash during daylight hours. Never allow the back door to remain unattended or open for lengthy periods of time. Never develop patterns of removing trash at the same time each day. Ensure that the back door is locked and secured once you are done. Closing the store is a time when employees may be tired or distracted. It is critical to maintain safety awareness. I'm sorry, we're closed. Be sure that the front doors are locked. Do not open them for anyone who is not a scheduled employee. Check the bathrooms, receiving area, and other locations where someone could hide. 
After completing your closing duties, have your car keys ready, check for suspicious activity in the parking lot, and leave as a group. To ensure your safety, Dollar General requires that at least two employees be scheduled to close your store every night. You should never be alone in a store after closing, or close a store by yourself. When you follow these steps and stay aware of your surroundings, you help support and maintain a safe working environment for everyone.